Hi, welcome to the crack of dawn. I'm so glad I've been sitting here for two hours now. Maybe not. We do it so fast. We love it down here at Nutmeg TV. So we just finished the windmill and uh, we thought, you know what, should we do another painting since I'm sitting here? And I have songbird canvas and I have other canvases. Whoops, I almost got Reese's Rooster again. Hold on, got it. <laughs> um, so anyway, what we decided is the windmills look pretty good. And you know what, they're not great. So we decided we'll just tweak them a little bit more and see what we can do. Because some people, um, they see afterwards I go home and I tweak it up and they're like, wait a minute, you didn't do that on the show. And I say, yeah, I know. So what I'm gonna do is a couple little things. Um, we've got our windmills looking pretty good. Uh, the colors are dull, you know, again, the Cape Cod colors, you know, always the same. Um, I'm not sure if I like this blue, but I have what I have here and I'm just going with it. So um, I'm just trying to get my, my drawing right. And, you know, lighthouse, windmill, same thing. Um, I'd like to know the, what the windmill does. I, I gotta Google that later. I love how you can Google stuff. But I did, um, my parents took us to Amsterdam, so we lived um, there for a while. Um, three months, I think, in Wasser Hager. Wasser Hager, oh my gosh, I can't believe I remember that. I think it was Wasser Hagen maybe, but it was near to Hague. And, uh, you know, other than that, I, I don't remember much. But I remember everybody had a bicycle with a basket and bread hanging out of it. No phones. Mm. And they recycle great in Europe. In case you haven't been there, they've been recycling much longer than we have. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna add some more different color greens and blues, uh, maybe some more clouds. I don't know what's gonna happen here, but it's gonna be nice. Um, maybe I'll add a horse with a cart or something or a Dutch guy or I don't, I don't know. But I do know that as the water gets towards the um, edge of the side, it gets darker, I think. Um, I could be wrong, but I am going to do that. I'm gonna make it a little darker. And again, this is a skinny brush. I'm just gonna put a little line there. It's gonna look like it's getting a little darker. On the front one, I don't know if I'm gonna do that because you're not really gonna be able to see the edge here. But I could make some grasses. Now, to make some grasses, you need a lot of paint and a lot of water. And sometimes you don't even use the easel. Now this comes last, but I'm gonna do it now. This is grasses. So you can have like little grasses coming through now it makes things look like they're a little closer up. I'm gonna do that probably at the end, but that's a lot of fun. So we're gonna kind of build together, build together on the texture. And again, you can kind of move your greens around. If it's too bright and it doesn't look right, you know, put a darker color with it. You can always take it down. So what you can do is, again, I got a few different color greens going here, on here. I just wanna make it a little lighter. So I'm gonna take this, a little white. So when you add white, to anything. It just makes it a lighter hue of the same color that you got. Um, adding black to a color to make it darker is okay, but generally uh, the black is not a good idea to use for colors for making it darker. So you're better off with a brown or a blue or something opposite. So I'm gonna go in with my green. This is a little fake looking too, so I'll get some of this stuff over here and throw that and dull it down a little. Um, and again, I can put it in blue because blue and yellow make, blue and yellow make green. So I'll throw that in. And we're learning a little bit each time we're on here. Uh, today at the Senior Center, I did that bird. There's a lot of good stuff going on. And I've got J Janice is our new senior, and she is a Navy vet. I can't believe it. And she said she showed me pictures. She was with the Blue Angels, or I don't know if she flew with them or what. But she's, uh, it's so neat, because you don't see a lot of... Uh, Female, well, there's a lot of them, but I don't know that many female uh, vets or um, service people. So thank you for your service. I know it's Mother's Day, but Veterans Day is every day to me because I, I cry when I see people. I try to thank people. A little, it, sometimes it's a little much, but um, especially older people. Um, not really just older people, though. It takes a lot to be able to do something like that. So thank you, um, all the people I know. Caden, Landon, no, Caden, my friend Caden. He just, uh, my friend Christina's son, I think he's Army. Amazing, amazing man. Uh, so it's great, so thank you, Caden. Uh, so we're gonna go in and we're gonna make some different hues. I might mix up with my clouds a little. Right now I'm gonna focus on my, my moat or my canal. Um, I don't know what floats around, if they have boats or anything. It, it's definitely not like Italy where they have those gondolas floating around and you know, very different place this is. And uh, my neighbor, Marty, who gave me this plate. Hi, Marty. Marty is going to Amsterdam like tomorrow. And she hasn't been in a long time, like a long time. 
so I'm so excited for her. And she's lucky because she has friends. So you see, when you marry someone from another country, it's fantastic because then you have relatives from that country and you can go visit them, you know? My kids all the time ask me if I've been to Jamaica and a lot of them go there a lot. It's pretty cool. Uh, yes, I have been and I do love it. I loved it there. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm me, everybody knows I'm a little afraid of traveling. I don't know why, I can't help it. Um, you know, whatever. Uh, you're good at traveling, my parents go everywhere and they're just you know, not worried about that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna put a little stuff around here. Um, pointillism is when you use dots, little dots, and you put them around. And pointillism is a form of impression, impressionism. George Seurat, spelled S-E-A-U-R-A-T. French uh, artist, I believe the one painting is called The Saturday Afternoon in like, in like Grand Jaffe Park or something like that. It's a gigantic painting of a lady with an umbrella. You've probably seen it before with a bunch of stuff going on on a, a lake or a beach. And I believe it might be like Shore Drive because thus it hangs in Chicago. No, it couldn't be because he's French. Anyway, that's what the Googling is so fun to do. So there's not a lot of artists that are pointillism uh, artists that became famous, but he is one of them. And um, you know, I remember everything, except for the fact that I forgot that I went to the bank. This is so bad. I called my bank. I had a check. I put a, a check in the bank and I didn't know, I didn't remember going to the bank. And it wasn't like it was some kind of crazy hour. I just, uh, I don't know. The seniors said it's normal. So I don't know. Am I losing my mind? How do I not remember depositing money in a bank? So it's crazy. So I'm getting there, you know, hey. We're all getting a little older. We need to be sharper and brighter. And um, you know, things like art and healing and Ray Reiki and all the stuff that Kat does when she has her show, all that stuff's super good for you. So art is therapy. Um, I don't need a degree in art therapy to tell you that um, art is therapy. So it is. For some people, maybe not. Maybe another art would be more therapeutic for them. But again, I'm moving around my colors, just trying to get some light going on here so that I have a nice background with lots of light. I have to make sure that that goes up because I don't want any white showing, especially not there. I can throw some up here, just a little, dragging it around a little. Okay, I've got yellow and I've got yellow ochre, two totally different yellows. This one has a little blue in it. I'm sure you can't see that, but if I mix the yellow with the blue, I might get that. So it's interesting to paint and mix colors. Uh, so fun. So we're having the summers coming up and now and we're getting, we're getting close. It's still spring. It's, it's beautiful out and um, raining a lot which I like. I don't do a lot of paintings in the rain, but I have, because I'll be painting out and then it starts raining and I get stuck. Uh, not a good idea to be stuck in the rain with acrylic paint because the acrylic is water-based and your painting will all drip and get all over the place. So the oil paint, you can paint, but when the rain hits the water and the oil, it's gonna reflect, it's going to, um, what do you call it? Um, reverse or whatever. Uh, so that doesn't work. Um, so I'm throwing this around a little. This is not a bad green. I, it's, I, before I said I didn't like it, but now I kind of, I'm kind of putting it back. Paint the sides always. Makes a big difference if you paint the side. Okay. We'll get a little bit of di different color in there going on the water. Um, this is kind of a cute painting. Something you can try. Um, when you're traveling, I always tell people, my friend Lynn is going to Bermuda's, I think it's Bermuda. She's going to Bermuda, I said to her, you're not gonna paint if you bring big stuff like this to Bermuda, because you're gonna wanna relax. But if you have something little like this, and you buy five of these and throw them in your purse and have a little teeny thing, you can do watercolors on this. I mean, you gotta frame it when it's done, but you don't have to use acrylic. You could do watercolor on that. Uh, paint's paint. Um, the only thing is watercolor and acrylic just don't last as long as oil, because oil's forever, you know, it stays. So, uh, you know, these little ones are cute. And I do little birds and things on these and, and they're kind of cute, so that's fun. And if you get stuff on them, don't worry. Um, one thing I'll bring up, a lot of people paint the background of the painting a color other than white before they start. I do sometimes, but do you have to? No. Um, why do people do that? They do it to get away from the white so that you don't have so much white blaring at you and you're not as nervous to go over a color. Um, Carolyn Butts in my class, she uses bright red, bright, bright, bright red. Every canvas she starts is a bright red, a cadmium red light, like a very bright red. And she puts that down, even if the painting doesn't have red in it. It's so crazy. And then the red shows through. 
just a little. So it's very interesting. I'm trying to copy her every now and then because she is somebody I'm learning from, which is great. So I really do like doing that. Uh, maybe we'll make a, a few more grasses. And I said I was gonna put in a little bit of different color blue. So we'll go in ahead and do that. Um, this is a, a, um, the OSJL collection. So, you know, sometimes I don't have the blues that I want with me tonight and I just have to use what I've got. So there are, um, you know, when you're starting off being an artist, it's fun to have little collections. It's fun to buy a hot pink. You know, maybe you won't use it, but you know, what if you're doing a night scene and there's a neon sign in the background? You know, you can't make that neon with, with, without using some different colors. So it's fun, very fun. So here what we're, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do a little bit darker blue. Not really sure, I don't want it so blue. Uh, this is what children do. They'll paint the entire, the entire sky will be this. Um, and then when I teach the children, it's a little different because you know, when, when they're little, you don't say much. Oh, it's a beautiful blue sky. Uh, you, don't tr you don't challenge them. Oh, what, what, sky, what other color could the sky be? Kids don't usually generally think that way. Um, you wanna open them up to the fact that, yeah, no, the sky is not always blue, but um, they know that, you know. So we're gonna go in. This is a little too bluey, so I'm gonna mix it in and make it a little darker. Uh, maybe put that blue in it too. Sometimes I mix the blues together and I'm just gonna make a little bit, maybe a little different, some movement going there. So I'm just doing some lines. I mean, I don't know how fast these, this water is moving and I don't know how fast it goes, I really don't. I really am feeling like putting some kind of flag. If I knew what the Amsterdam, the, the flag of Holland uh, was, I would put it. And Holland is also called the Netherlands. I don't know why, I wish Joanne was sitting here. I would ask her. Why is it the Netherlands? And Peter Pan isn't from the Netherlands, he's from Neverland, I think. So I'm getting this all mixed up, so I just call it Holland. But it was one of my favorite countries ever, and I've been to a lot of them, thanks mom and dad. <laughs> but I did, um, I did like uh, Amsterdam the best. Uh, it was very clean, very clean. Um, and you kind of couldn't tell who was rich or poor, which I love that, that's fantastic. Uh, I couldn't figure it out. But anyway, I asked the neighbor when she was visiting Marty, and she said Wassenhagen, wherever we lived, Wassenhagen, I think it was, was a, a, actually a very nice town. So I, you know, I didn't know. So what I'm gonna do is um, crisp things up a little. I'm not gonna use any black. I don't think I need any black, and I don't want any black. Let's start making a kind of a wheat field look, because um, when you mix this yellow ochre with white, a little green got in there, but look at, I don't have much over here, so I just have to go with it. I'm getting like a, gotta take these off. See, these are pretty good. The Pradas, however, um, I have to tell you, it's very important to have the right prescription. Uh, this is not the right prescription, but it's okay for seeing what I'm seeing. If I had the Pradas on, they're too strong to see this. So I know people like the transitionals and everything, but my eyes are getting bad and uh, I can't help it. I just can't. You know, we try on different glasses all the time. So I'm getting this weedy color going. It's kind of wheat mixed with white. So it's yellow ochre mixed with white. I don't really know where I'm gonna put it. I thought maybe along the shore here, it might have a little like kind of weedy color going on, maybe some, because they always say the wheat fields in Amsterdam. So I'm just putting this weedy color in just so I can have something other than that, just that green and my blue in my face and it's, it's kind of annoying. So that's kind of giving it a little bit more land. So there's some land there. I don't, I don't really know what, but Sometimes when you throw it around, it just kind of looks nice. Very nice. Amsterdam. And my glasses, I'm trying to look at Joe's flashing me something. I'm like, I can't see that. Are you crazy? I need the potters to see that. Amsterdam's flag. Oh, he's got Amsterdam's flag up. Oh, it's three X's. Okay, that's cool. I'm gonna do Amsterdam's flag. Okay, so it's a red flag. Let's see if I have any red. If I don't, we'll just tell you what it is. It's a red flag with three X's in the middle and a black line going through it with the white X, the white X's are white. So um, it's really so funny. That's so funny, Joe, because I could add it. So the flag is, I'll show you. So if I wanted to put a flag in the background, I might draw it in and add the red later. So the flag looks like this. It's a black line here. This is red. I usually do this. I put an R for red, R for red. B for black, what do you got the wrong flag? We probably have a flag from like Hong Kong or something on here, we don't even know what it is. Um, but the flags are interesting. Now I know the Jamaican flag, now I know the Trinidad flag. Uh, some I don't know, I know the Puerto Rican flag kinda looks like the American flag, but there's one star, I think. Um, you know, people get all 
burnt out of shape and bent out of shape over the Confederate flag versus the regular flag. I mean, as long as you're nice, just, uh, you know, let's not, so here we go. We got three X's. I think it looks more like a plus. I can't remember, no, it was an X. Three X's straight across, isn't that the, you would never know. And I've been there and I would never know that that is the, that's the flag. Isn't that amazing? So, you know, if I put one of those in the background, that would be great because red and green are complementary colors and adding a pop of red somewhere, I could put it off the windmill, uh, I'll add it, I'll bring it next time and it'll have a flag in the background. So that's a great idea because red and green are complementary colors, blue and yellow are complementary colors and one of the greatest things about this is when I added that yellow against the blue, it's kind of nice. Is it yellow? No, but it has yellow in it and it's kind of a wheat, wheat kind of look. So I'll go in, I'll put a look, couple more things, I'll take a couple more stabs at this painting and uh, we'll call it a day. Um, I would do these small, you know, nobody, I don't know if you wanna do a big, huge painting. Um, some of my, my seniors will do big paintings and you know what, I say nothing because what am I gonna say? Um, I do big paintings too. So um, it's a lot of fun and you gotta paint what you want. And some people come into class, uh, they do nothing, they watch. One girl came in today and she said, my hands aren't working that good but I'm just gonna sit and hang out, do you mind? I'm like, no. Uh, so we have a great time over there and it is just so great. Um, I love it, I, I do, I love it. I love life. I can't wait to go on Kat's show. Kat is gonna have me doing yoga and Reiki. Oh God, I can't even bend. I can't even do a back bend, terrible. Very not flexible. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to move around some more green in the background. We're just gonna finish this thing up while we're going along. Go slow. If your windmill, you're doing one windmill, don't worry, you can do one windmill. I'm gonna throw in some more dark because I don't have a lot of dark back here. The dark's just gonna break it up so it looks more like there's different light going on back there. On the bottom, it's gonna be darker because there's no light that really hits the bottom. So the bottom should be the, the darker. It's, the light could still come through on the bottom. Again, if you're trying to make your, your paint more, uh, move around a little bit more, you wanna add more water, okay? It makes it more watery. and this is what my palette looks like in the end. The throwaway palettes are great, but again, um, you can eat off this place again. You just have to rinse all the stuff off and get rid of it. Oil paint, eh, I wouldn't do that, but maybe. Uh, you just have to make sure all the turps off it. And again, you can try turpentine, you can try the oil paint, you can try the acrylic, you can try the water color. I mean, Marie Lamoth, she's in my class, she does watercolors. I mean, do I know how to do watercolors? I guess, but I'm not as good as she is. She's fantastic. Um, and does a lot of portraits. So remember too, um, you know, you can try the portraits. I have a lot of people tracing, that's fine. Um, tracing, I should have traced my chicken. If I traced my chicken, I bet Risa did, and it's fine to trace. Um, the next thing is, is color. So art is a few different things. Would I encourage you to trace all the time? I don't care. If you wanna trace all the time, go ahead and do it. Um, I do it for many of my paintings, um, some commissions that are a little harder than others, but it doesn't make it any easier. It's very hard to trace good. Um, you have to be really good at it, and I'm, I'm good at it. Some people aren't, but it's very easy to be good at it. Um, and then it's up to you to make it look like that, that tracing is disappeared and you drew it. Um, I prefer drawing the painting, and most of my better paintings are the ones that I've done live. They're just my favorites. A lot of people say, why do you like the live one, Dawn? The live ones look nothing like your realistic ones. And I'm like, well, that's why I like them. My realistic ones take longer, yes. But um, my live ones are more fun because that's when I meet people. I meet people on the streets. I meet people out at games. I paint softball games. I paint baseball games. I paint anything. Um, I try to paint what the old masters painted. Um, Rembrandt, was it Rembrandt? No, it was Goya. I think it was Goya. So Goya painted, a lot of the painters would paint live because I don't know if the camera was invented. I can't remember. But anyways, um, the, the main thing was for a real artist to be real, you had to paint live. So there's one painting, I believe it's, I think it's Goya. It's pretty gross, actually. There's two of them that are yucky. But it's, it's at a hospital and he pa he's painting the operation as it's happening. So it's like, two doctors pulling out some guy's appendix or some crazy thing. And it's a painting that he did there. So I'm trying to do that with me. I'm trying to figure out how to be famous artists, how to be famous artists. I don't need to be famous, I need to make more money. It's very hard 
it's hard to sell a piece. It's hard to work with clients and get at a price point that you want. Um, I try not, not to be too over the moon, but um, again, I want people to be happy. But it is time, and I've got 30 years experience, which is why I can whip up a windmill. Um, do I think this is a good painting? Not really. Um, it's not popping to me yet. Um, but if I do this in my senior center class with 17 of us sometimes, you wouldn't believe it. I'm supposed to be the better out of all 17 of us. Not necessarily, but I, I'm the teacher. Nope. Sometimes it's the person that's really struggling with art that's really not very good to begin with. And then we get better and better and better and better because we get confidence and you build confidence. And don't give up. One painting that you did that's terrible doesn't mean the end of your life. You start another one, throw that one in the closet and do another one. Never work on a painting that's bothering you. Just get rid of it and start another one. Um, is this bothering me? Eh, it's okay. You know, I'm gonna go with it. So I'm just gonna kind of put some grasses, like I was saying before, in the front. Maybe get a little bit more of this um, mustardy color in there. It's like the wheat field. So remember, um, you know, you're gonna get better and better at the art. You wouldn't believe how fast um, some of us are. And some not so much. You know, it's very hard to, uh, I'm getting some light in there. So all of a sudden some light is coming from the up, from the sky, which means I'm gonna put a little bit more light in my trees too. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take that greenish yellow and mix it in with this color that I just used. And this is gonna give me that mixed with this, which will make a little, it might be too much, but again, with a little pointillism, just a little, I'm gonna throw that around and it might look like real trees. And that's what you're looking for really. Um, you know, abstract art, abstract art is very hard, very hard. How do you make a triangle and a circle and a line look good together? It's very difficult. Um, all the artwork in my home, most of it is abstract because my husband is neat and, um, orderly. And he thinks that the abstract art is like background music. It kind of, it's not something that you're going to look at and stop. It's just there. And it looks nice. So I have a lot of abstract art in my house. Do I know what I'm doing? No. But you know what? You just stop when it starts to look like something. Um, sometimes with my little kindergartners, because I got little kids too. They aren't not all big kids. But I got some little kids. Sometimes they'll do a piece. And, uh, you know, you usually don't say, oh, that's a great house. Because sometimes it's not a house. It could be an air conditioner or it could be Batman. You just don't know. So you never say, oh, honey, that's such a good house. It's so good, because they'll say, that's not a house, that's Batman. And I'm like, oh, of course it is. Look at his wings. Um, yeah, so it's fun teaching art. When we get our art teacher on here, it'll be fun. And then we have Kochi, we have Joe, so fun. But um, again, different ways of teaching art. The sun is coming on the top of the trees, so the top of the trees are gonna be a lighter. You're not gonna put too much light on the bottom. I'm gonna make a little darker green now. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. These Dixie cups here, these are from the concession stand at the Little League field. And now my kids are playing baseball and my daughter's playing softball. It's so fun. It's like hitting a football with a bat though, I have to say. I mean, the baseball, she said, well, you hit it and it go forever. And the softball, these girls are good though. They are good. So I'm glad they're doing some sports, it's fun. I did sports, uh, I was terrible. But you know what, I could get the three pointers. I was not going to the basket with that ball, there's no way. But three pointers, I think I won a contest in Springfield, Massachusetts. I was the, yeah, I was the best three point shooter. No, the best foul throw, foul throw. When Kochi comes on, three throw, free throw, free throw, free throw. The teeth, it's not working out. Uh, free throw, I was the best, I think out of the whole state of Massachusetts. You know, of course, I was only the best that one day, but I mean, I did. I got an award, like I was the best three free throw lady. We have one minute left. So let's go in with this uh, darker green. I'm just gonna put it around the bottom like this. And this is gonna bring in some more light. Throw that around a little, okay? And Because we need some more color here. So I'm just gonna throw this around. And let's go fast at the end because we're gonna run the credits in a minute and you're just gonna see how just different colors. You don't want the same color green everywhere. Kind of makes it nice to throw it around here. It's darker on the bottom because there's really not a lot of um, not a lot of light down there. Now we'll make the grasses. We're going to do the grasses. We have 30 seconds. We're going to sign off with the grasses. I'm so excited that you're tuning in, and I need help. Not with my hair anymore, but I need help in other places. So let's get some good guests on this show. 
let's make some grasses coming up. And I guess I'm gonna put them like this. Whoops, that didn't work. Oh, sometimes I make mistakes too. But let's see, I'm gonna try to make some grasses coming up out of the, and we have 10 seconds to make these grasses, so let's throw some in there. It's gonna make it look